Good morning. It is almost 7 30, it's like 20 past 7. We're heading to Epcot for a few hours. We did get a boarding group for Guardians. We're going on the Skyliner. Boarding group is 235 minutes. So that should be kind of towards the end of how long we wanted to be in Epcot this morning. <laughs> Thanks. Um, because we have party night tonight, we've told the boys this morning so that they can attempt to nap <laughs> mid-afternoon. Um, <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's fine, if they fall asleep <coughs> for the party, we'll have fun. Round and round on seven dwarfs. <laughs> that even happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Tiana's is on standby when it's party round night. And round on <laughs> when Tron's open, so we could do them. Um, but yeah, Epcot for an easy morning. We're going to head straight for Frozen actually, that's going to be our first pot of call for like rope drop. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the plan. It's not looking yet though boys. And we'll see what we can get done. Don't know, it's probably going to be a hot day, it looks clear. So we don't want to <laughs> exhaust ourselves um, before the party. We're going to come back, I might do some laundry as well. <laughs> Very exciting, but um, Eli has run out of shorts and I bought the Tide Pods so that we can do some laundry. The plan all along was to do laundry this trip anyway. So yeah, I might do that. There's one by the pool. The boys did want to go in the splashy pad pool today, so I might do that whilst they're in there with Adam. That's a good plan actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, just at the Skyline, the queue now, I'll just show you. Oh, it's not that bad. So 20 past seven, the queue into about there. It's not open yet, although it's running. It's so just started. It literally just started. Yeah, it's Eli. It's not that bad. So it won't take that long. Well, they are just letting people on. Just starting to let people on. So we'll get in this line, see how long it takes us to get there. Uh, how many? Uh, four. Thank you. Thank you. You um, tap in again after you've gone in with your normal tickets to make sure that you are a hotel guest. And then you can go ahead and head for where you want to go. So all those people there are in the Ratatouille queue like we were the other day so we need to head round to Norway and get in the rope drop for Frozen which is what we're going to attempt to go on this morning well we are going to go on it because that's the plan that's the plan so you don't go past Ratatouille if you're coming to the Frozen ride you turn the other direction left <laughs> to get on to like towards Canada we've been held at Canada and then you go around to Norway to get to Frozen um, yeah, don't know why they're doing it that way. But We're now doing the power walk over to Norway. It's so goofy as well. It's like kind of a slow walk. It's so goofy. I don't know why. It's so goofy. Say in 15 minutes up there. We'll see how long it takes. It is 25 to.
gift shop. That took about 12 minutes in the queue line. It's um, five to nine now. Um, it was so much fun. Does anybody remember when it was Maelstrom? Um, me and Adam were trying to figure out when we last rode it as Maelstrom because we've not ridden it as Frozen yet. And we think, did we think it was like nearly 10 years ago? But I don't know if that, if we rode it that trip. 2011 or 2014, I can't remember. Yeah, Which but, one? but that was fun. That was fun, yeah. <laughs> because this part of the park is now going to be pretty quiet because everybody that's just come in is going to head straight up to Frozen and Ratatouille. Spatial Firth is posting five minutes, so we're going to go on that. Um, our Guardian's callback is saying half ten. It's just five past nine now, so we'll see where that sets us. Um, might try and do the land again. If the both the boys are still awake, Issa is looking sleepy already <laughs> at nine o'clock, which is crazy. Um, if he falls asleep, then me and Adam might ride a swap on Soarin' depending on the time. Yeah, we'll play it by ear this morning. Um, let's try and fit some bits in, get our guardians, and then go back to the resort to have a chill out before we go to the party. Do that laundry. <laughs> That's one of my main op objectives for today. Do the laundry. So the kids have clothes. Love Spaceship Earth. It's, it's a classic. <laughs> We're heading to Club Call now to sample some of the many beverages on offer. Um, what do you feel about a, a Beverly? I'm actually a fan. You're a fan? Yep. I think it's because we like gin and tonics and it tastes like a tonic or a bit of lemon. Um, yeah, let's go try some weird sodas. Oh, not that smoky one though. No, I don't like that. One thing I've not seen, that's just reminded me. Last time we came, they were doing like a pumpkin trail in Epcot. I know, the, I think they've got one in Magic Kingdom, but there were some pumpkins up on these, so I don't know if they're doing the pumpkin trail this time. To keep an eye out for that. So these are the ones you can try. Can't remember which the smoky one is. I think it's that one. Avoid. <laughs> Beverly is nice, I enjoy Beverly. I enjoy it. Yeah. That one. That one's horrible. I would drink that. I like it. It's Italian. We need to go to Italy. Well, this one would be nice. Sprite cucumber. Which one do you like, Eli? I like this one. This one. And. I'm not, I, I think I'll like that one the most. Are you going to try that smoky one? Yeah. What's your favourite? So far, uh, I like the raspberry. <laughs> Where's the smoky one coming? Mum, can you show me where the smoky one is? Is that one good here, sir? Where's the smoky one coming? The cold brew from uh, the Connections Starbucks. These are like, what, 4 95 the grande size. I can't be drinking all the sweet coffee constantly. Like we've been having the cold brew with the pumpkin cream sometimes, but 
yeah, no, it's just corporate at the moment. <laughs> Got some of the merch again in the connections shop. These little food and wine trash can salt and pepper shakers make me laugh. If you have ever been to Epcot, you will know that a trash can table is very common. <laughs> the number of times you end up eating off a bin is unreal. These are very cute. I wanted to see how much the strollers were. You can buy these compact mouse strollers. Um, $39. That's not terrible. So that's like, what, 32, 33 pounds? That's not too bad. And it's got like a hood from a storage basket. Yeah. They've also got these stroller fans, which I think are quite cute. The massive Mickey hand. And they sell the um, sun lotion that we get when we come to the US. I mean, we got it last time, we got it this time. So we've been getting the Copper Tone Sport for me and Adam, um, and the Copper Tone Water Babies for the boys. And I also got a face stick, you'll have seen it in my little Walmart haul. And it's working out well. Everybody is unburnt, so <laughs> I think we're doing good. And that one is so easy to apply because it's a spray bottle. Our group got called for Guardians, so we're just heading on it. Me and Eli are going first. We've done Rider Swap. You just go up to the people with the red umbrellas, and um, Eli gets to ride it a second time with Adam, so he really looks out with Rider Swap. <laughs> I'm Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. Citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Just got off Guardians. Eli and Adam have now gone on. I don't think I explained Rider Swap <laughs> too well. Um, basically, there's some red. Where are we? There's some red. There, <laughs> red umbrellas near the entrance. If you have a virtual queue, you all go up to there, to the red umbrellas. Speak with a cast member, and they give um, the other rider, the person that's got going on, a uh, lightning lane, and they they let Eli go on a second time as well with a lightning lane. So you just need your cards to scan, or your watch, or whatever. And then you go on, me and Eli went on first, and you come out, and then Adam and Eli have gone in with their lightning lane passes through the lightning lane. You don't miss much on Guardians, like the bit that we missed, that Adam will miss, isn't much of the ride experience anyway, so. Yeah, that was really good. That's the first time I've ridden Guardians. How smooth is that roller coaster like? That's so smooth. I'm so used to things like <laughs> Space Mountain and Big Thunder, but that is like the smoothest ride experience. I absolutely loved it. I think Eli was a bit freaked out. He was freaked out by the big monster alien um, in the pre-show and then that appeared again in the ride. But apart from that, he liked the actual ride, so he has gone on again. When he first, like, the ride stopped, he's like, I'm not going on that again. But then when he had time to digest it, <laughs> he has gone back on it. Um, we got Conga for our ride. I don't know what they're going to get. Maybe, I hope they get September. That would be cool. Yeah, we'll try and get another virtual queue whilst we're here because that needs to be ridden again, 100%. So Adam just got off, they got September. I did say it, I hope you get September. Um, Eli went from not wanting to ride it again when we, me and him got off to now wanting to go on it another time. Um, yeah, it was just that scary alien bit that he didn't like. But you enjoyed that as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was brilliant. So smooth. Yeah. It's such a smooth track compared to like. It's like a proper roller coaster. Yeah, compared to like Space Mountain. Amazing. What I say about eating on bins. <laughs> we've just walked past the Alps. We're gonna head back to International Gateway, but we've got the raclette with ham. Um, there's a few potatoes, some olives, some baguette. I'm gonna give this a go. It looks tasty. We're kind of eating our way back to the Skyliner now. We're in America, they've got hot dogs. We think we might try one of these that 
that he, I might like. We'll have a he's, hot dog then. He's so angry about having a hot dog. Wow. <laughs> Do you want something green? Want some broccoli? You, be, <laughs> you love broccoli. So I think the American one is up there. There's several different hot dogs we could try. We still have one sleeping child. Eli's gonna try some hot dog. We're sat just by the booth. There's like all these tables we managed to get on the end of a shady table. So <laughs> stay out of the sun. Adam's also getting his the beer fight to try. She's got three different beers. And even a Southwest hot dog? Southwest hot dog, that's the one we're going for. Which um, we're gonna scrape South. all the stuff off for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Beans and cheese and stuff in there. <laughs> That's spicy. Oh, you don't want that. Well, don't, you don't have to put them on there. We can take them off and eat them. And you can just have some a bite that's not. Eli's reading up on the beers and the beer flight. Could you tell me what they are? Ooh, let's have a look. This. This. I don't know what this one is. Ooh, the but, stuff by. Oh, here you go. Pop it there. Um, that'll be the middle on the Goose Island, and there's a Wicked Weed Festival. Oh, I know what a Wicked Weed Festival is. Oh, I don't know, one of them is a Wildflower Honey Beer. Which is the honey one? The darker one? No, they, that one. No, they go that way. Eli. Across. Stop it. Not good. Wild West one. On me. Yes, it's on you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. It's very messy. It's good though. Mm. Topping is good. <laughs> mm, it's tasty. It's nice with that topping. It's like queso fresco, a bit like feta cheese, pinto beans. <laughs> Just wait a minute. Would recommend. Okay. Acer is into a two hour nap now. He's <laughs> literally over two hours, two hours, ten minutes, which is good because we wanted him to nap so he can make it through some of the party. Um, so we're just kind of wandering because we can't take him on the Skyliner. We have a double stroller and you have to fold them up on the Skyliner, the single ones you don't. So if either of the boys are asleep and we want them to stay asleep, we can't get on there. <laughs> so we're going to go to Canada on World Showcase and get some poutine, I think. Um, just snacking our way around. Eli did enjoy the bit of hot dog that he had, which was good. Um, yeah, let's head to Canada. Time to head back to the resort. The poutine was good. Yep. Yeah, spin us around. <laughs> yeah, the poutine was good. Um, I just got the regular one, not the braised beef one. Um, I think we've snacked enough for a light lunch there. So the, the has now woken up, so uh, um, he will need something to eat when we get back. So I might just get him, they had an Uncrustable, like a peanut butter and jelly Uncrustable at the quick serve. He might enjoy that as well. We'll get that this time. And um, then we will be hitting the splash pad, doing the laundry. I know I've mentioned it several times, I'm very excited. <laughs> and then getting ready for the Halloween party. We've just been trying to figure out the best plan of attack of when to go. You can, well we can go in whenever um, and you can get your wristband from about four o'clock. I think that might be too early, like the kids have got a long evening ahead so I think we're not going to aim to get there for four o'clock entry um, because we don't need to be there early and ride the rides because we've got plenty of time to do that outside of the party time. Um, I think we're going to head there around half five, six o'clock so that we can have the quieter park and maybe do some things then and get some food before the party kicks off. And I think we're going to prioritise um, the entertainment rather than any of the rides except the ones that have got overlays for the party. I think that's just teacups this time um, and Space Mountain has got the lights on or something, something with like that. But we'll figure that out when we get there and that's going to be a different vlog so I will close this one off later on. Um, but let's go back, do some laundry. <laughs> I'm finally doing my laundry. I just wanted to quickly show you that you scan a QR code and you do everything through your phone. You pay through the phone. I used Apple Pay. 
and it's three dollars per wash and three dollars per tumble dry you can download an app which makes it a little bit cheaper as well but i just did scanning the qr code super quick super handy and no cash needed i'm outside without a hat or sunglasses which was an error <laughs> very bright um you'll just see me do a bit of a voiceover for inside the laundry i didn't need to buy the tide pods because people have left like loads of stuff in there so probably check before buying stuff like i made the Walmart or Dirty Ages again. I don't mind because I like the smell of Tide and something we don't get at home so I'll just take them home but somebody there was a full pack of like Gain washing cards and some Dr Beckman laundry sheets in the centre of it so always just check there I guess before and also um, I have another massive tip that I only realised this week there is a Facebook group for the resort like one main Facebook group if you search on um, on Facebook for Pop Century there's a group and people are always leaving stuff like when they're going home so just in there then there were swim nappies and stuff that you could take but people have been leaving like popcorn buckets I'm planning on buying one at the party tonight because there's a specific one I want the night before Christmas one um, but yeah people are just leaving loads of stuff like resort mugs um, food drink like unopened so it's, I've only been on there for like 24 hours but the uh, the thrifty thrifty person in me is like must keep checking <laughs> so yeah that's a good shout I only just found this so head on that and you also get updates if people have like done um, any pixie dust on their doors and stuff but yeah just heading I think the boys have gone to the splash pool I'm gonna check if they're there yet they may be if not I'll head back up to the uh, to the room and find them I totally forgot to close off the vlog so you get a sneak peek of next week's Halloween party night outfit. Um, yeah, see you next week. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.